Hey guys, welcome back to another episode working on our exciting VW Razorback. If you're new around here, we are usually traveling around the UK and Europe in our home on wheels, Olive, but we are temporarily stuck in one place because Chris decided he needed a new project in his life. Let's see if this thing turns over. So we spent the past six weeks renovating this old VW Razorback that was heading to the scrapyard. Over the past couple of weeks, we have been stripping it down. Chris has been working so hard, giving her some TLC and restoring her. Now we are on the road right now. You're probably wondering why I'm in a vehicle, but we are heading up for a three hour journey to somewhere rather exciting. I am so excited about this. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been speaking to this company who are up in Bournemouth sort of area. They're called Cali Campers and they have a Volkswagen Razorback, which they have renovated, making it look like a pickup truck and it looks awesome. So I'm going up to have a look at their one and I'm also going up to have a look at a new set of wheels because they are like a T4 wholesaler sort of uh, vibe. That's what I'm getting from it. Obviously, I'm not going to know till I actually get there and find out, but I'm excited. Nice bit of a road trip. We've had a sausage roll on the way up. We've had a croissant on the way up. So bellies are full, feeling good. And I'm excited to get there now and see these wheels and their razor bag. Just pulled up to Cali Campers and it is literally like heaven for anyone that is renovating. They have spare parts of everything. Chris has already found some bits and pieces he wants to tape out for the Razorback but more importantly you should see the Razorback that they have done. Wow! Cali Campers, you guys have it all. They have literally everything you can think of for a T4 and a T5. We walked away with a couple of door cards. We've walked away with a new set of wheels for our Razorback. And their Razorback is something else. Their Razorback is goals. If ours looks anything remotely like theirs, I'll be chuffed. Because it absolutely, they've done such a great, amazing, wicked job on it. On our way back, got a two hour stint home. And all the goodies are in the back. I cannot wait to show you guys. Big thank you to James and Fred for having us for almost like two hours because this one wanted to chew their ear off on everything and it's really nice to know that if we ever need a part for this new razor pack they're gonna have it they got thousands of spare parts there so if you're doing up a camper van or anything goes wrong on your van you know who to go yeah Good morning team. We are ready to go. We have four days of lush weather. So we're gonna make as much progress as we can through this list. We have got a couple of things we can tick off because yesterday we went and picked up some new wheels. We also picked up some new door cards for the van because they were pretty battered. In last week's video, you did see me rip up the floor. So this week it's gonna be getting that new floor down, making the inside of the pickup truck looking really, really nice. We'll be painting it black, putting the checker plate in, fixing it down, 
treating the rust all down the side of the van as you can see I'll be welding in my new brackets I've got a little bit of welding to do on the front arch on the passenger side and I've also got a little bit of welding underneath the van to do so in the next four days it's going to be dry so we're going to tick off those major things if I can complete that in four days I will be a happy happy man so let's go to it what a day it was yesterday I'm still absolutely buzzing that we've got some new wheels and some new door cards because this one was broke but my job right now is I'm going to start taking bits off because I want to get all of the rust patches on the front of the vehicle patched up because I'm setting myself the task seeing as we're getting like a good consistent few days of dry weather of painting her now we were really unsure what to do whether to get her professionally sprayed or maybe wrap her but we do have paint left over and we did such a good job with olive that i'm gonna give it a go i'm just gonna see what it looks like because if we're not happy with the finish we can easily get her painted anyway we've got the gear let's see how it turns out but before we paint we need to prep all of our body work and get all of this rust treated take my hand we'll make it somehow Going into my eyes a little bit. Are you going to put your fringe up as well, or? How's that? That looks good. They'll steam up with that on there, but. Yeah. Look good. PPE'd up. Thanks. Ready to go. The lads have finished work. It's time to get on with this welding. Me and Sam have been prepping this morning, getting all of this off, all the sticky stuff, getting this all ready to paint black. But my job is down here today. I need to be welding the, my triangular bracket back in here, cleaning all of this area up, making sure it is spick and spam ready to go. I'm gonna take the wheel off to give me a bit of space. And yeah, let's get to it. Can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubt Be free with me I just gotta cut a tiny little bit more off and then carry on cleaning it all up put my plate in, bolt it in place get the welder out and start welding So this is where my plate is going to go, it's going to go in like that and be welded across that bit over there. I've just got to move this bit round a bit and we should be good to go. Let's get some bolts in these holes. So I've got the new plate all bolted in, I'm just going to now weld along this seam right here just to weld it back to the body because those bolts there, I cannot get out without taking the whole sides off. So I'm going to weld right along there and we should be all good to go. That's all the welding done on this side at the back. I'm gonna now move up to the front archway, which I mentioned I needed welding. So I'm just gonna put a couple of bits of metal in there, sand it all back, get it looking good, add the filler and that. And then I'll have to turn the van around and do the same on here. I'm really happy with how this weld turned out. I cleaned up the uh, old rusty metal, my new fabricated bracket there. I'll clean up the weld in a minute and then we'll have to coat it with something to prevent it rusting sooner rather than later. 
So as you can see down here, we have quite a bit of surface rust along there and there's actually a bit of the archway missing along here. So I'm gonna sand all this back, see what we're dealing with. And if it's too bad, I'll have to add some metal in there. Bum, bum, bum. Another one bites the dust. Another one done. Just welded up the arch. That's all been welded in, filled in, looking nice and good. This side of the van is now welding complete. Time to turn this baby round and get the other side done. Time to repair the other side now. As you can see, this one is starting to come away all along there, start to deteriorate. So cut along here. As I said, I can't get these out from the other side. And then I cannot wait to de-rust it all. Oh my God. Needs a good de-rusting, a good coating, all ready to be nice and cleaned off. Chris has finished doing an amazing job with the welding we can officially get this girl wet now we want to give her a really good wash before we start painting her because where we've took up this old flooring it's really dirty and we've done a lot of grinding so she needs a wash we've actually just managed to get hold of a power hose so we're literally gonna jet wash it all and it's gonna get all the rubbish off the sides off which is amazing because we've got some incredible product on its way that's going to help us treat all of this rust look at the build up of dust and dirt all over her like all of this we're just going to jet wash it all off and then we can really start to treat all of this rust and get her whole freshened up and protected for the future all right, buddy. Hey, you okay? I know. He's wondering why the sun is going down and we're still working on the Razorback today. But as you can see, it's still blue skies. So today's gonna be a bit of a late one and he's not gonna like it because he's used to getting a little bit cozy this time of night, aren't you? You been the bestest boy again today? Someone's up early. Good morning. Yes, we have another dry day here in the UK. So I am just starting off my morning by painting this outside part of the van where the covers are gonna go back on. And we're gonna paint that floor ready for Chris to be able to put the brand new checker plate down. So we've had to wait for this morning dew to dry up. And now we're going in for the kill. It's going to look so good, isn't it? It is going to look amazing. Good morning, handsome boy. Good morning, handsome boy. <coughs> it's not. You've had breakfast. <coughs> You're good. <coughs> we are about to turn this baby here into a different color are you ready let's go 
This is the paint we are using, combi colour, same as our Volkswagen LT35. I'm going to mix this with some thinners at a 4 to 1 ratio. We're going to use these rollers, which are Rodec rollers. So, I'm excited! Is looking good she's like a little baby olive now we have our big LT35 bus and now she has a little sister as you can see team we have started the painting we're gonna leave this week's video right here next week we're gonna carry on doing the painting get some new product down along the side and yeah just start finishing a few bits off on the van now it's so funny seeing two green vans in the workshop It's right like, now. as I said, it's like a little sister for Olive, isn't it? Yeah. They're going to be so cool when we park them next to each other, get loads of drone shots. Oh, I cannot wait. They're going to be so, so good. And I cannot wait to show you guys the new wheels that we got from Cali Campus. I haven't showed you in this week's vlog because I want you to see them on like the finished project. Once everything's all together, once she's looking amazing with her new wheels on, yeah, that will be the time to show you and I'm sure you will all appreciate it then as well. It'll be like the final piece of the puzzle, the wheels. But thank you so much again to Cali Campers. Guys, if you need any bits, hit them up. We'll make sure we link their website at the bottom. And if you can make it to their shop, it's incredible. Oh God, they have literally everything you can think of i think i've said that about three times in this vlog now but they literally have it all so yeah like sam said go and check them out appreciate you guys for always tuning in we hope you have enjoyed this restoration video um it is something different it's not our usual content but once this is over we will be back on the road again and traveling so just <laughs> stick with us team and appreciate you for sticking with me because it was my idea <laughs> to get this van done. Let's just come to join us. <laughs> Me and Fletcher are definitely missing adventures on the road. I am missing adventures as well. <laughs> Though I am missing adventures, but the van has been a good break, isn't it? It has. We need an emoji for this week. Yes, emojis for this week. Let's go for the paintbrush emoji this week because we have started painting our girl not even our girl, is it? Do you want her to be our girl? I want it to be our girl. Her? I do want to keep it, but it's not going to be our girl. If you made it this far in the video, pop the paintbrush emoji so we know you've made it this far. Like Chris said, thank you for sticking with us for those of you that are tuning into these videos. And we are very, very close to the end now. I yeah. don't think we're going to have many more videos, but we cannot wait to see it all come together and finished. We'll see you next week. See ya!